<laughs> right, it's been reported that Steve Bruce will oh. be fired this week. The Daily Mail reports <clears throat> that um, the 60-year-old, he would be leaving the club in the light of the Saudi-led takeover and that his payoff stands at £8 million. Um, talks will now begin over the terms of his exit. New Newcastle part owner Amanda, St- Amanda Staveley, she spoke about Steve Bruce's future last week with, St- with Sky Sports and here's what she had to say. Obviously, we're very supportive of Steve, and we've spoken to him. And you know what we're going to do is is not talk about managers or what big signings we can make at the moment. We're going to do a review right through the football operations. Uh, we're going to do a review of all the commercial side of the club as well, and we're going to come back uh, and, and make some decisions. We're not even able to talk about anything as to you know p- players or, or, or managers at this stage. Well, it was a long wait, wasn't it, from the beginning of, of this conversation about this takeover to it actually happening. But in the end, the moment it did happen felt a little bit overnight, didn't it? Because we thought it was all off. Um, I think Simon Jordan called the deal deader than a dead <laughs> thing from Deadland last week. I had to go back on those words. Um, he'll be back on later on today. Um, I think the Newcastle fans rather enjoyed his uh, his statements about it when it all <laughs> yeah. happened in the yeah. end. Um, but let's talk about this, the new manager. Um, I always say this, Ali, I, I always feel a little bit uncomfortable about talking about new mm. managers when yeah. there's a manager still in situ. I yeah. suppose in this case, though, the, the entire world is talking about it and you, you can't really hide from, from one of these kind of situations when someone the size of the consortium that have come in to take yeah. over have, have done it. No, absolutely. I think it's... You'd have to say it, it, it looks, you know, a stick on that, that a new manager will come to Newcastle with the new owners. You, you, I'd be flabbergasted if that wasn't the case. The one thing you've got to say, Steve Bruce um, has many things. At the top of that list, he's a, he's a good man. So he deserves to be treated with, you know, respect, which I, by the sounds of things, he will be. Because um, he has always, the one thing he has done, he's always done his best for that football club because he knows it as, as, as well as them. they coming from that area. Okay, there was a section of support, a lot of support thought the time was up, wanted new owners, wanted new management, and I think they're going to get their wish in both counts. But I stand by what I say. I think that whatever happens with Steve Bruce, the whole situation yeah. should be handled with a bit of class and a bit of dignity. Moving on to who's going to replace him, dear me. It, it could be empty. Effectively, Gab, we just don't know. You look at guys that are out of job, you know, yeah. whether it's, you know, I'm looking at content boys like mm. that, and that's the ones that they're talking oh. about. I just don't yeah. know, mate. It's hard, though, isn't it, as well, Ali, because, you know, they're, they're struggling down there at the moment, aren't they? Would a manager yeah. like Conte want to come in now? Or do you want to wait? Do you know, let another manager have a, yeah. like a year and a half, get, a, get a, a better group of players, and he takes over then? You know, that's I, what I, think. I don't think Conte would come now, to be honest. I know, I think you're probably right. And, and, and as a job for somebody, for example, uh, uh, you know, if the, if the new consortium come in, a new owners come in and say, look, this is a five-year project, mm-hmm. you're going to get time, you know, it's a, that would be very, very appealing to a lot of managers. But if they come in and say, look, you know, we, we want to hit the ground running immediately, we want to be winning, you know, cups and winning... With, we're, yeah. going, we're going to spend a fortune in players. You know, there's a little bit of pressure with that. But uh, uh, but I just think it's a, it's a project that would certainly interest a few. Because when Manchester City get to take over, it didn't happen, you know, overnight. It wasn't overnight. No. So, and I think it'll be the same with Newcastle. I was, I, I was saying this, Ali, um, on Saturday night. Like, I scored a hat-trick against Manchester City and then <laughs> they got took over the next year, you know. And yeah. The, the team that I played against, you know, you wouldn't recognise some of the players, you know, they were bang average side. Yep. So this could be the, the same thing with Newcastle, you know, gradually getting players in. I think Man City, you know, they brought Robinho, didn't they? Alano. Then the next yep. generation was like Kolarov, Dzeko. I don't think Newcastle are going to go big, big, big. I'm thinking maybe the likes of... Tarkovsky, maybe Lingard, yeah. maybe someone like Aaron Ramsey, yeah. Coutinho, you know, just get a group of players that can get them up the table, then go again every year. They've Hardly. got a focus, sorry Ali, I was oh, just going to say, they've got a focus on on staying alive. Yes. So, I mean, the yes. position that they're in at the moment, they've got three points. Um, they're sitting second from bottom of the table. Um, and I know that that's going to be a priority straight off the bat. <laughs> they've just got to try and get through the next few fixtures because they are not kind fixtures, Ali. Stephen no. Gerrard, Ali, are, are, are you scared, mate? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> slightly concerned, I would say. I was, I'd be slightly concerned, but I, I, I don't know. Listen, there's no use worrying about it. Stephen obviously had a great mm. year last year, winning the title. We haven't started just as well this year. However, we are still sitting top of the league. He, naturally, he would be a name that would come into the equation as well. 
probably Lampard. Frank would come into that equation as well. You know, what a job though, Laura. Imagine you're a manager out there. Oh, yeah, job. yeah. Go on then. It's like a, a real life football manager game. Like, yeah, go, go and buy who you want. You know. Well, I was reading no the weekend the first window that they'll have, which is obviously the January window. They they might have up to two hundred million pounds to spend wow. because of how little they've spent in the past. So, um, obviously, it will take time for for money to filter into football, but not necessarily if um, they've not spent so much that it means that they can have two hundred million in this but, window. But as well, they might want to get a manager in that can attract the players that they're looking for. Yeah. Maybe that will be a decision. Maybe a Gerard or Lampard will be able to attract the top stars you feel like the first manager is going to be a big statement and I say obviously the first manager mm-hmm. because you know what you don't know what kind of um, management this is going to be in terms yep. of the hierarchy you don't know if it's going to be a Chelsea thing or if it's going to be more of like a, a long term project like you're saying just not really sure but um, like for Newcastle time uh, for Newcastle fans it's in exciting times and I understand that uh, there, it's met with a fair bit of trepidation as well and I get where that's mm-hmm. coming yep. from I do get that I think for the Newcastle fans in general though you can't knock them being excited from managing to get out of a business that they've been in for what, the last 10 plus years um, with a with an owner that they feel is, is disinterested and hasn't given them the support that they as the, the city deserve um, so the next chapter is here and, and I don't knock their excitement for that at all it could have been anyone that came in but it just so happens to be someone it's, with it's, a, it's lot of, for, a lot of backing yeah, it's bad news for like, the likes of Arsenal and Spurs isn't it Gabby <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle <laughs> they're on the way up wow. to take over Arsenal as well on that note Mark Mark the Arsenal fan uh, just said the man for the new job at Newcastle is Arsene Wenger imagine Arsene Wenger is too busy creating World yeah, Cups definitely. every bloody year <laughs> alright 81089 at TS Breakfast if you want to get in touch this morning who might the next man for the job be at Newcastle the time is 9.27 Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods Monday to Wednesday morning 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.